I just wanted to come up here really quickly and um, let you all know the details of this hair. Um, it is an AliExpress brand. Um, I'm not going to say it's 100% virgin because the hair when it came in the pack, it looked like it was um, um, someone actually processed the hair to get it to the actual curl that it was. This is not the state that the hair came in. Um, the hair came in very... I'll insert a clip to show you all how it came. Okay, you got your standard DHL packaging with the Ziploc bags that the hair actually came in. Um, I did order two 16s, an 18 inch, and then a 14 inch closure. The hair had a very nice luster to it. Um, as you can see, the curls are very uniform. Um, the wefts were very, it was constructed very well. I was uh, pleasantly, I was very surprised. Um, I didn't have any beards or anything um, or any lint in the hair. And then the ends of the hair were in very good shape. Um, it, it, it did mimic natural hair. So I'm very pleased with it. And this is the closure. Um, you do have to bleach the knots. If, I mean, if you're up to it. Um, if not, you can just, you know, use your regular concealer to conceal those black knots. But you do see the knots in the hair. I was going to do an unboxing video, but then um, I just didn't record enough. So I didn't do it. <laughs> Um, but in my hair, it is a wig, so I can take it on and off, and I take it off every night. To prevent a lot of postpartum shedding, I'm going to wear a lot of protective styles, um, for these, uh, next few weeks until, um, until I start to notice that my hair is shedding as, you know, the normal shed amount that I, you know, the normal shed hairs that I would get. Um, so... I'm gonna experiment with wigs. This is the first, well, this is the second wig that I made, but the first kinky curly wig that I made, this is the first one, and I do have a closure. Um, the closure is 14 inches, um, and I have three, well, two and like three quarters of a bundle, and plus the closure, um, I have two 16s um, and an 18 inch, and then a 14 inch closure. So I have 16 on the bottom, and then I put the 18 in the middle. Then I put another 16 and then I have the 14 inch closure. And the reason I did that, first to get this shape. <laughs> I don't know what happened with this side. I mean, it, it kinda is the same shape as this just has, it looks like it has some more hair. Um, but um, I didn't want to do the 16, 16, 18 and then have this 14 inch closure cause I didn't think that would look right as far as like lengthwise. You probably can't even tell, like, I don't know. Because to me, like, this closure looks a little bit. I got three bundles and a closure for, I think it was 170 or 150, something like that. Um, I'll have the vendor and everything down below uh, in the description box. I can't remember off the back of my head now. And I don't have it in front of me. I, I've had this hair for... Uh, let's see six weeks but I didn't initially install the hair or you know make the wig when I first got it and then I haven't been wearing it consistently um, when I initially washed the hair I got a good bundle not a, you know wasn't this big I wish I could have recorded I didn't record it but um, I got a good decent amount of shedding once I washed it I didn't cut any wet except for the one that um, I didn't use all the hair and it was the 116 that's in the, um, like right before the closure. Um, I did I did cut that one, but I haven't washed this yet. So that's gonna be true test um, as far as like matting and shedding and all that jazz. Um, so I'm happy with the way it turned out. Granted, this side is a little bit more full than this side, but hey, you know what? It, it mimics real hair as far as, you know, um, I don't, me personally, when I had a relaxer, I knew that one side of my hair was a little bit thicker than the other side. So I figured, you know, maybe natural hair does the same way. With my natural hair, one side is longer than the other side. I don't necessarily see like thickness or whatever. But, um, so the way this closure is, I, I bleached the knots. This is my first time doing that. Um, I think I over bleached it, but um, 
it is what it is. I mean, you can't really tell because I had that that wig cap, the beige wig cap underneath. So kind of like um, you got the bleached over bleached knots and then the wig cap. So kind of is the same color as my scalp. I don't have to do much to the hair. Um, I slap it back on the wig, um, styrofoam wig stand and I go to sleep with my satin bonnet on and that's it. Um, would I purchase this hair again? Um, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna give it a few more weeks as far as like how tangling and everything is. Um, or maybe like rock it for full four weeks and then give you all a, a, a honest review as far as like shedding, matting and all that stuff. Um, I think the reason I'm not getting a whole lot of matting, I, I have a little bit of matting in the back, but it's not much. Um, it's because I put the 16 on the bottom. You know, with, the nat with your real hair, the more you rub, something rubs against it, it's going to get tangled. So that's something that's expected. But, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with, with the hair. And, um, I like it. The closure is not, uh, it's like straight hair, maybe like an inch, an inch and a half of straight hair. And then the curls start. But the older it gets, like, to me, I don't know what happened. I'm, I think I put too much conditioner on it, so it was hard in some areas. And I, when I first got it, like, I, I washed, I co-washed it and I let it air dry. And um, I kept feeling like hard areas. So I'm like, well, what, what is that? And I think it was the actual conditioner um, on the hair and whatever they processed it with. So I pulled those out, which ended up looking like broken off hair in the, um, in this closure area so it really you can't really tell that it's it's straight and then it starts to curl if that makes sense so i mean the more like i was talking to my sister the other day i'm like you know it looks like i got broken hair it looks real um so so yeah um i think that's it for what i got i mean i guess you can call this a first impression video i guess but it's not really a first impression because I had the hair for a while, so I don't know. I'll come back up here and give you all um, like a three month update on the hair and how it's holding up. Um, I'm gonna wash it and um, I'll record that. I'll record the washing and I'll define the curls for you all. Um, maybe I wanna do, I do wanna try to do a twist out on this hair and see how it looks. Thank you so much for watching. Please uh, like this video, comment, subscribe, um, and also check out Instagram. I do post a lot of pictures on Instagram. Uh, so if you're not already following us on Instagram, make sure you do that. It's my Money TV on Instagram and Facebook. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day.